Amen. So, dear Heavenly Father, we give you praise, honor, glory. We thank you, Lord, where two or three are gathered, Father. You are in the midst. The Lord would just ask you, God, to have your way tonight, God. Let your glory fall fresh, God. Let your presence fall, Father. We ask you right now, God, to strengthen the vessel, God. Strengthen her, God. She has poured out so much today, God, and I just ask you, God, to return, God, strength into her body, return virtue into her body, and use her powerfully tonight for your glory, Father. God, continue to draw people to the line. Let them hear the word of the Lord, God, tonight, God. Let it fall on good ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that people will get saved tonight, healed tonight, delivered, God, set free in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you. Thank that God. our lives will shift tonight. God, cause a supernatural breakthrough. God, as the woman of God goes forth, Father, put a breaker anointed on this vessel tonight, God. God, I thank you that signs and wonders will follow. And God, I thank yes, you, Father, God. that you place in a hedge of protection around her or bind up any backlash or retaliation. And God, I thank you that you are just drawing the people to this line, Father. And we just yes. come against any uh, problems with the line, uh, the enemy trying to block people from coming. We bind it up in Jesus' name. And, God, we mm-hmm. thank Jesus. you, Father, for what you're going to do tonight. And I just feel your presence. God, lose your presence on this line today. In Jesus' yes, name, Lord. amen. So I just want to welcome amen. everybody to a word and prayer tonight. It's going to be awesome. And yes. I'm just so excited. Um, the calls have been just phenomenal, like dynamic, you know, that we've been having thus far. All right, mm-hmm. and I just bless God uh, for what He's doing. So, without further ado, we have a powerful woman of God, and I love this woman of God so much. God just connected us, and we've just been inseparable ever since. Um, she is mm. she's an entrepreneur. Her husband's an entrepreneur. Um, she's very talented. Like when I say this, this girl, you know, this woman of God is so gifted. Like <laughs> my God, you know, um, just. You know, I just I just love her spirit. She's a go getter, and you know, she's a woman of faith. And I know you're going to be blessed by her ministry. So, without further ado, I'm going to welcome Doctor Angela. She's a doctor, so I want to honor her title and honor who she is in God. So, Doctor Angela Richardson. Amen. Hey, man. How's everybody doing? Doing great. Good. Okay. Um, God gave me a word. Um, I was. Originally supposed to be preaching, um, well, teaching about love, but um, I went to an event last Saturday, and it something that was said that really grieved my spirit. So God had me to turn, uh, change it, change my message to this. Mm-hmm. What I'm getting ready to teach. Um, my subject for tonight is preach the truth, the word in season and out of season. And the scripture I'm going to be coming from is Second Timothy four two to three. To preach the word of God, be prepared wherever the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. And it said, preach the truth all the time. There should be no compromising when it comes to teaching or preaching God's word. Because so many people's lives are on the line to be teaching them in error. Because God is going to hold us accountable for teaching and preaching anything that goes against his word. And I was at this particular function, which was a funeral, um, because my uncle had died. And I was at this funeral, and the um, the man of God that got up there to preach the um, eulogy, when he began to speak, he began to say some things that, it wasn't lining up with God's word, and it began to grieve my spirit. He said, study the word of God to prepare yourself before you get ready to teach or preach so you will know what you're talking about. Because of some of the things he was saying, was it was far-fetched. And I, and I knew he couldn't have studied because, you know, I knew that, you know, he already knew that he was going to be te- preaching at that funeral way ahead of time. So he had really had time to prepare himself. Not that I'm bashing, bashing anybody, but. You know, we got to take every opportunity that God give us uh, uh, as serious, you know, and not take it lightly because you, you don't never Amen. know who's there listening or uh, and, and who, you don't never know who is in the midst is listening and yeah. that, you know, they may be, um, you know, uh, wanting to hear a word from the Lord and they want to hear the truth. And when we're teaching them things that's not of God, that's not even in the word of God, and it's going to make the, make these people confused. So we don't we don't never want to. Uh, have nobody's blood on our hands. We all always want to tell them the truth 
according to what the word of God is saying. I said we don't need yeah. to be speculating about the word of God or even giving our opinion on the word. Just teach it like it is in the Bible without adding to it and without taking away from it. And, said, and then I'm going to start talking about um, lay members. You know, uh, we're, we're, um, we're ministers of, I mean, even the ministers of the gospel, you know, uh, the prophetess, um, the apostles, the pastor, the teachers, the evangelists, we're going to have to study. We're going to have to stay in our words so we'll know what the word of God is saying. And we really don't need to be going off memory. I mean, it's okay to, you know, to memorize some scriptures. But what I'm saying, we need to have some notes. We have need to have them written down or whatever typed out or whatever that we can go back and look look to every now and then. So make sure that we're staying, staying on the word of God and not just teaching what we heard over the years, you know. But we need to stay with the word of God because it's so very crucial in the hour that we're in that we stay with the word of God. It said lay members, Amen. you know, people that don't hold a title of lay members. Get in your word and begin to study to show yourself approved as so you can rightly divide the word of truth. Because there are so many false people out there that is teaching and preaching in churches, social media, Facebook live videos. They are twisting the word of God to fit their situation. They only have part of the word of God in their message, and the rest of their message is opinions, or they be teaching from a standpoint of what is going on in their lives at the moment. Anyone that preaches that, this is what the, the person was saying, anyone that preaches that sin doesn't separate you from God and sin won't keep you out of heaven. It's not a true man or woman of God. You know they need to be telling the. You know what I'm saying because this this what what this is where I'm, God was. Um, it was grieving my spirit because there was so many millenniums out there. You know, it's some older people too, but there was so many millenniums out there, and they need to hear the true word of God. They need to know that you know the the, the according to the word of God in Romans six and twenty three said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through uh, through Jesus Christ our Lord. But so even at a funeral, you know, you just have to make sure you're teaching the word of God because the people out there listening, all those millennium was out there listening, and um, they need to know the truth. You know, a lot of them don't even pick up their Bibles. They don't go in there to read and see if what someone is telling them is, is the truth. So it's so very important that we as the men and women of God when we get those opportunities to preach at these frontals or, you know, anywhere, even in Walmart, we need to be, uh, when we're quoting scripture, we need to be quoting according to what the word of God is saying and not our own opinion. He said, and we know that living a sinful life, rejecting the finished work of Jesus is a combination for disaster. So, you know, that goes right to the funeral, you know, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, now I'm not bashing him or anything. It's just that, you know, we just you just can't just teach anything because you know it's all those millenniums was out there you know most of most of them there's a lot of them that is living for god don't and you know not not that i'm saying all of them is not living for god because it's a it's a bunch of is that are living for god but those particular millenniums you know they was my freak my family too and you know a lot of them don't even pick up their bible they don't read their word and they don't know if what he was saying was true or not. So they, you know, said they was out, they was out there, and they heard what he said. And they said, "Oh, I can still do what I'm doing. You know, I can still shack, or I can still do what I'm doing, and I still go to church and give God some praise, and I'm okay with that." But you know, but we need to make sure every time we have an opportunity, we need to teach what the Word of God declares because it's gonna help some people get free if when they know the truth. It'll help them get mm-hmm. free and um, delivered, you know, yeah. and they'll know that they can. They need to change the way they're living, and so they can need to give their life to Christ and change the way they're living, you know. And God will help change every anything that's in them that's not of Him. He'll help them do, through that process, you know, just like He does, the, you know, us, the old, you know, other people. He'll help us through that process. But in, it's our job as the men and women of God to teach the Word of God. And said, and you know, and I, and, you know, I thank God because when I was saying, you know, if I was just, you know, didn't get in the Word of God and didn't know God's Word, I would have been standing out there listening to that, what he was saying, and I would be confused at this moment. But me, by me being in the Word of God, by me studying the Word of God and, you know, uh, and uh, knowing what the Word of God declares, so I knew when he, when he automatically said it, I was like, my spirit was grieved, and I was like, wow, you know, because... 
with now you know they're having the funerals and they're, they're not having it on the inside we we're, we're outside at the funeral at in, in the um cemetery so they had a, he had a microphone and he was what well, he was preaching and then you know when he said all that then he tried to, he put scriptures with it you know twisting other scriptures to put with that to make it seem like it was okay to continue to do that because you know every, you know and this is what he said everybody sin and come short of the glory of God which we we know that but we know that um, have sin, that means that we're not um, um, practicing sin, that we're striving every day to get closer and be more like Jesus every day. So we're not practicing sin, you know. I know we may make mistakes and we may mess up, but then we'll, we'll uh, what we do, we'll repent and go to God and ask him to forgive us. And then we change, you know, we'll, we'll, we won't keep continuing to do that. So it's just so very important. Like I said, it really grieved my spirit to what he was saying. And that ain't all he said. He said some other stuff that, you know, wasn't lining up with God's word. I said, but so that's what's so very important that we study to show ourselves approved so we can write the divided word of God. So I know for a fact that nearly all of the eulogy was disturbing. All these people at the funeral was listening to what he was saying and not to mention the people in the neighborhood. Like I said, he was on a microphone. And the volume was loud. Teaching like this makes people think it is no consequences to live in a sin-filled life, especially if they don't pick up their Bibles and read and study for themselves. You will be deceived if you don't study for yourself. God has declared in his word that habitual sin separates us from him. Isaiah 59 and 2 said, But your iniquities have separated you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you, and he would not hear. So we know those that us that you know um, that stays in the Word of God and reads the Word of God, we know what the Word of God declares, you know. But you know, after it's said, you know, if we was at that type of setting and we're not we're not preaching the funeral or we're not teaching, you know, at the funeral, you know, after it was said, <clears throat> if they didn't know the people that know didn't read the Word and know that he was he was kind of twisting that word, you know. They, you know, like they thought that was that was it. That was what what the word of God declares. It said, "This is not the time to be warding down the word of God because too many people's lives and destinies are at stake." Tell the people the truth in love, so they will know what they need to do to get in right standing with God and how to stay in right standing with Him. They preach the word when nobody wants to hear it. Preach the word and tell the people the truth so their blood will not be on your hands. Because if we're not studying the word of God to know what it says for ourselves, it's so easy to get confused and gotten off track by listening to something that is not even scriptural. Mm -hmm. And I have an acronym for sin. S is for spiritual weakness. I is for iniquity. And N is for nonsense. So anything that goes against God's word is nonsense. Say Romans 6. One through two said, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? And number two said, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin, sin live any longer therein? So, you know, once we allow God to come in and change some things in our lives, you are no longer doing habitually sinning. But we're striving, it, you know, we're striving every day to grow and get closer to God. And so that stuff, some of that, most of that stuff is starting dropping off our lives. So we don't. We don't, we don't have to keep sinning because we have the grace of God. Grace is more than unmerited favor. It's the ability to do what we couldn't do on our own. So we will take that empowerment of grace to be able to not to continue to walk in habitual, habitual sin. So it is clear to me and several other people there that he didn't study before and he knew he was going to preach it already from day one. We must speak the truth concerning God's word no matter what setting we are in on Facebook Live, when God, when I get on Facebook Live, God is holding me accountable what I say out of my mouth, that it has to be scriptural. That's why I study to, to show myself approved to make sure what I'm saying is scriptural and I can have scriptural to back up everything that I'm saying. When I'm, if, you know, when I eat opportunities in church, when I, you know, get chances, when I get up, have a chance to speak, make sure it's scriptural, it's coming from the word of God, even funerals, you know, which is so very important because there's so many people from different walks of life that come to those funerals, and they and most of them is hungry for the word of God. And the grocery stores, even Walmart, we should not be giving our opinions about the word of God if we have found that we have been taught. And even even this, you know, our God has he had brought this back to my attention. Even if we have found that we have taught something that wasn't correct, 
we need to be willing to go back and correct it because people's lives and where they will spend eternity is at stake because a mistake that is practiced is not a mistake. Hmm. And that's all I have tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the powerful one tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hey, man, that's a good reminder to push the truth of the word of God because we got to give an account one day. Amen. 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 I'm just like, wow, at a funeral, you know, it's crazy, you know, and that's a good reminder for everyone, no matter what role position you carry. Study. Study the word. All right? Mm -hmm. Study. Mm -hmm. You know? Amen. So, amen. I I received that word even for myself. Amen. I'm going to study before I stand up in front of God's people and not take it for granted. Right? So, amen. But that's powerful. So, we're going to shift, and before I lose the woman of God to just pray and let the Lord flow, we are going to uh, worship the Lord tonight with our giving. Amen? So, woman of God, how can we give into your ministry tonight? Um, my cash app is dollar sign, LaRose, capital L-A, capital R-O-S-E-A, 0628. And um, also, my, I have a PayPal, uh, PayPal dot me paypal dot me uh slash angela richardson all in one you know all of it together and so um can you say it one more time just in case somebody wants uh okay. your inf- information the cash app the cat my cash app is dollar sign capital l small a capital r o s e and a is in apple zero six two eight Amen. So I'm going to pray over the seed, and then I'm going to lift the woman of God to pray and take prayer with us, or however the Lord leads. Father, we just thank you, Father, as we give, God. Just rebuke the devourer, God, for our sakes. Rebuke the devourer off of our finances. Rebuke the devourer, God, off of our home. Rebuke the devourer, Father God, Lord, off of our marriages, Father. Protect us, God. Strengthen us, Lord. God, bless those that give. Bless it to be given back to them good measure, press. Uh, down, shaking together, running over, shall men pour to our bosom. So, God, we thank you for an abundant harvest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I kind of ask you guys, if you get, come on here, if you have background noise, please mute. All right, because, again, we're doing God's work, and we want to honor mm-hmm. and reverence, you know, the work of the Lord. It may be common to you, but, again, this is holy ground, okay? So mm-hmm. we have to be a good steward. I'm going to be a good steward over this prayer line, no matter how small it may be in your sight. This is God's ground. This is God's work. So please meet your line if you have background noise. Thank you so much. So go ahead, woman of God. It's all yours. Um, I, the question is, uh, does anybody need prayer tonight? Yeah, I do, Angela. Hi. Okay. Hey. Yeah, this is, hey, this is Stephanie. Hi, council woman. Yeah, I have a rash around my neck. Um, I don't know if it was the vitamins I was taking or... What? But it went away for a minute, then it's back again. So I just want um, prayer for that, and just continue to pray for my family. And uh, okay. that's it. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, again, that we come to the throne of mercy and grace. Lord, we pray your daughter before you, Stephanie, right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for her family. Lord, that you cover her family on your precious blood right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Anything that she in need of, Lord, you said in your word that you will supply her every need, such as the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And, Lord, that rash that's on her neck, I hear that is heat, like a heat rash. Mm-hmm. It looks like a heat rash, mm-hmm. but um, I don't know. I mean... Wow. Father, Father, I pray that you um, go deep down in her, on her skin right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray for healing right now all day. For, for the, I pray that for 
that you uh, we bind that information on her skin right now in the name of Jesus. I command healing to hit her body right now from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for her healing healing of that rash right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. We magnify you. We lift your name on high because you're worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm trying amen. to think. Thank you. What kind of cream that you can put on it? I tried the hydrocode. Hydrocortisone. Mm-hmm. That didn't work, mm-hmm. you know. And um, calamine, that one, it helped. It helped some. But I, I hate to say, I feel like I got crocodile skin. You know, I'm like, oh my god, what mm-hmm. is this? But um, never had this before like this. Have you ever tried the? Um, I don't know if they still sell that. It's like the medicated medicated Vaseline. I don't know if they still sell that or not. Medicated Vaseline. Yeah, it's, I don't it's, know, it has I like some... it has like a like it's like medicine in it, but it, you know they call it like a medicated Vaseline. It has like medicine in it, and just put it just yeah, a little bit, I'll, I'll you know, like it. rub it, like it. rub it in, rub it in real uh-huh. good, you know. Okay. Mhm. All right. Thank you. Is it? Is it broke? It is it? In any areas broke on it or just? It's just the rash. No, it's not broken. There's no broken area. Okay. First, it was really bad, and I mm-hmm. they had put me on some prednisone, and it went away. And okay. uh, what I do know with the prayer, I, I thought it too with the prayer cloth, the prayer shawl. Maybe that material I was allergic to it because I use it in the morning. Mm-hmm. And um, those did you areas go to the doctor? Did you go to the yeah. doctor with it? Okay. Yeah, he had gave me the present T- before. TMC cream. Um, it has a long name, but it's um, in short, it's called TMC cream. Okay then. Mhm. Does anybody okay, else have a prayer you. request? You welcome. Yes, I do. This is Ruth. Ruth, I'm calling for prayer. I thank you, Mona God, for bringing the truth tonight, and I'm really, really blessed. I'm asking for that God will continue to use me to stand on the word, even though I've been intimidated. People are calling me biased because I always try to bring the word, word of God to tell the truth about the thing of God. They get mad at me, but I know one thing: God can use me to continue what I'm, I have to do. Please pray for that God will give me strength to do what's right. Okay. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today, tonight, right now. Lord, we bring your daughter Rose before you. Lord, we pray that you give her strength, Lord, right now from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, you said in your word that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, I pray that she will get have joy and have it more abundantly right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, anything that you have required for, required for her to do, that she will be able to do it, and she will not worry about everybody else's opinion, Lord, that, and Lord, I pray that you deliver her from people's opinion right now in the name of Jesus so she can mm-hmm. go forward and do what you have called her to do. Lord, I pray for the boldness of God to saturate her right now in the name of Jesus and that she will cry loud and spare out to what you're telling her to do in this, mm-hmm. in this, in this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you too, woman of God. Does anybody else Hello? need prayer? Yeah. Hello. Hey, yes. Doctor Richardson, how you doing, sis? All right. How you doing, Elder? Oh, I'm doing great. Doing great. Yes. Um. First of all, I want to thank the, thank the Lord for uh, allowing you to de- deliver that word. Um. As a matter of fact, my wife in another room in in the Bible study with her pastor, and it it's the same it's the same word. It, it, so, uh, God bringing forth confirmation tonight. So I thank God for mm-hmm. that. But she also, <clears throat> my wife asked me to, uh, especially last night, because she worked at the uh, Evans County School System here, and they begin, they are about to begin to take the, the vaccine uh, for the COVID. Oh, and that, 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 she was going to pray about that, uh, that, that God oh, would guide her decision-making. Oh, okay, she wants to know um 
if it's all right for her to take it or not. Yes, yes. It just it just mm-hmm. the, the time now. It's not mandatory for them right now, but they they went and asked yesterday about it, and she didn't know what to do. I say. Oh, okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you today, right now, in Jesus' name, Lord. We pray for Brother Elsie's wife right now as she works in the school mm-hmm. system. Lord, give her the wisdom that she needs and asks for mm-hmm. concerning this vaccine for COVID-19 mm-hmm. right now in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And, Lord, we just thank you right now in the name mm-hmm. of Jesus for your, you, you. you said in your word that if we need wisdom, we'll to ask of God and you would give it to mm-hmm. her generously. Mm-hmm. And, Lord, we ask that, that you would give her the wisdom where she needs to take this shot or now, right now, in the name of Jesus. But in the meantime, mm-hmm. Lord, we pray that you keep her covered on the blood of Jesus. We draw a bloodline mm-hmm. around her so no sickness, no mm-hmm. disease can they, can attack, can it, can ever attack her body right now in the name of mm-hmm. Jesus. And, Lord, we just thank you for what you're getting mm-hmm. ready to do in her life right now. In Jesus' holy mm-hmm. name we pray. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. And, um, Amen. And for this, you know, I, I know some people that live, that works in health care, no. Um, my cousin, he works. Well, he works at my um, Walmart, and he's t- he's taking the shots. And then my um, his wife, she works in the nursing home, and she's taking the shots. And she hadn't had any re- she hadn't had any side effects or anything from it. So, but we, we, you know, she can well, continue to um, pray and God to give her the answer what she needs concerning the shot. Okay, thank you. God bless. You're welcome. God bless you too. Mm-hmm. See anybody else? Yes. Um, would you pray for me and my family? Uh, me and my children name? and my grandkids. My name is Brenda. Brenda. Yes, ma'am. Um, anything in particular? Well, I would like you to pray for my son for this. Um, this he going through some kind of scam. Somebody got his oh. information. My daughter, okay. she's in the military and she's leaving for Chicago in June. And then for me, for that um, COVID nineteen vaccine. Because I work mm-hmm. in the school system, and mm-hmm. also when I went to the doctor the other day, they told me that my um, blood sugar was high. Okay. So it was so it was, just, was it your blood sugar or your hemoglobin A one C? Uh, well, they yeah, I think that's what it was. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we, it's again that we come to the throne of mercy and grace. Lord, we pray for your daughter Brenda and her children and her grandchildren right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for her son who has, has his identity stolen right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you send their angels to go and see about that situation right now in the name of Jesus so he can get his identity back and, and he doesn't have to pay all that excess money that the person has has charged on his accounts right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said in your word that you will supply every need, such as the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And he has a need, Lord, we ask you to move mightily on his behalf right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for her daughter who's been sent to be stationed in the city of Chicago right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will give her a smooth transition to her next base right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, that she will be able to have, make friends and, you know, continue to move forward in her career in the military right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for your daughter Brenda as she makes her decision about the COVID-19 vaccine right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you give her the wisdom that she needs concerning that vaccine. Let, let her know, give, show her if it's, if it's right for her to take it at this time right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for her. Uh, blood sugar level, her hemoglobin A1C right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that she would um, uh, change her diet right now in the name of Jesus, that she, something that she probably could control with her diet right now, that her blood sugars would come to normal limits right now in the name of Jesus. 
And, Lord, we just thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, we, we just bind the hand of Satan oh, off of this family right now in the name of Jesus. And we pray that they were covered under the blood of Jesus right now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we give you the glory, give you the honor, give you the praise in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And um, Amen. with your hammer going with A1C, I used to, you know, I used to be a nurse for yes, um, a, a couple of years ago. But um, what you can do is um, kind of change your diet and, you know, okay. not as, you know, not eat as much sugar, you know, with the potatoes, you know, because and they break down in starches and they make um, the glucose. So if you can try to uh, titrate your diet, you could probably, next time you go to the doctor, you could probably, your hemoglobin A1C will be within normal limits. And you, I don't know if you okay. own any medicine or not, but, you know, you no man. pop with your, okay, no man, okay, that's good. So, you know what I mean, because you don't want to end up getting on any, you know, so if no you just ma'am. control it with your diet, you know. Right. Yes, ma'am. You know, and you can eat sweet stuff, but, you know, if you eat it in moderation, you know. Right. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I request a prayer as well? Sure. Um, my father died um, in April of 2020, and he mm-hmm. was uh, he he owned a bar in New York City for 51 years, and uh, <clears throat> he had um, more children besides me with different mothers, but I'm the baby, and um, I just want my uh, financial inheritance to be released because. My dad was in the New York Times, the, all the papers. The bar was open, like I said, for 51 years. He owned it, and I just I know that he left something behind for me. But I have a brother that lives there, and I'm not sure if he's crooked, but, you know, I don't want to put a stigma on the people from New York, but I don't know. I just want God to release my inheritance that belongs to me. I don't want anything that belongs to someone else but just my part. So if you could pray for that with me please okay what's your what's your name samantha samantha okay all right father god in the name of jesus uh it's again that we come again to the throne of mercy and grace lord we bring your daughter samantha before you right now in the name of jesus and lord we call for her inheritance from the north south east and west to hit her bank account right now in the name of jesus lord we pray that you send her or her angels to speed up the process right now in the name of Jesus to go and see where the money is right now in the name of Jesus that belongs to her right now in the name of Jesus. If it's caught up in probate right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that a settlement will come forth right now in the name of Jesus so it would be a blessing to the woman of God right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, what you're getting ready to do in Samantha's life. Lord, we thank you for the increase that you're getting ready to do in Samantha's life. Lord, we give you glory, give you the honor, give you the praise in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you. Amen, amen. You're welcome. All right. Is anybody else? I can can take some prayer. Okay. Amen. Pray my strength. Pray um, for the projects that we're launching. Pray for the finances. Pray for the support. Uh, and just for God to continue just to bless me and my family and just us to be okay. safe. Okay. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, again, that we come to the throne of mercy and grace. Lord, we pray for Prophetess K right now and her family right now, that you keep them covered on your precious blood right now. In Jesus' name, we draw a bloodline around their family so no no evil can get in, into, in the midst of their family right now. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for her finances right now. Lord, I call finances for the north, south, east, and west. Lord, I call for grants to hit her life like no before. I call for um um, um, different types of income, God, to hit her lights. Lord, I pray for her businesses, Lord, that they will, um, 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 that they will grow more and more each day. Right now, in Jesus' name, and I call for customers to uh, from the north, south, east, and west to 
to go into her businesses right now and begin to order things um, that they need for their for their own personal uh, for on their own personal things right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray right now that they're getting ready to launch this um, TV thing, this with this Roku and this uh, internet thing. Lord, I pray right now that you send a big benefactor to her right now in Jesus' name that will write a check to pay for everything that she needs to be paid for right now in Jesus' name. Lord, you said in your word that we can ask anything in thy name and believe it in our heart that it shall come to pass. And, Lord, I pray right now that everything that I've said in this prayer, that it is so that it shall come to pass. Because, Lord, she is a great woman of God, and she does everything that you tell her to do. And so, Lord, we pray right now that you move mightily in her life, Lord. Anything that she's in need of, Lord, you supply her every need, such as your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I receive it. Amen. <laughs> You'd be surprised somebody come knocking somebody come um uh, um come through your um messenger and somebody get God them to somebody's heart to to uh, pay for everything that you would need. <laughs> Everything, you, I mean, and that's what, I'm, well, I ain't getting off the subject, but anyway, um, in um, on Pops, so, um, Claudette's class, she told us that um, always having our mind how much it's going to take to pay, you know, all our bills off or whatever that we may need of, the finances that we need, because, you know, when God sent that person to us, because um, she told us in, in, uh, we need three things. First, we needed a uh a butler, somebody to open doors for us, and then we needed a baker, somebody to keep things going for us, and then we needed a pharaoh, somebody to um to pay for everything that we needed. So when God sends your pharaoh, that you already have your figure in your mind because a lot of times you won't have time to figure it up, you know. So you always have a figure in your mind what it take to pay all your bills off, and then have some um to live off for after then. So, you know, so I'm saying that to say to everybody on this line, you know, so, you know, we, we serve a big God. You know, God is bigger than what we could ever ask or think, you know. So we don't, we never know who who we, who the next person we meet, you know. And a lot of times what God would tell us to do, I want you to go to a certain place and wear this certain outfit. So you put that certain outfit and you go there and somebody comes to you and say, well, I don't know you, you know, and they don't have and with God, they don't even have to know you, you know what I'm saying, for them to bless you. So God will tell that person, say, hey, go to this place and see this lady with this blue dress on, and I want you to give her this, this suitcase of money or maybe, or maybe this check, right, and, you know, that will pay all your bills off, and plus you have some left over. So, you know, well, I said that to say, be prepared, you know. You know, don't ever think God can't work like that because he can Always be prepared. So always have a figure in your mind to whatever it is to pay any of your bills off. Because we, oh, I believe in this season we gonna God's gonna really blow our mind. This going we gonna he gonna have us scratching our heads to the point like wow God really this is all mine really God you know and but what he's doing it is to bless to be a blessing in our homes and also to bless our ministry so we can help build up the kingdom of God. And that, you know, that's what I really, you know, really believe. Amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, is is there there is no other um prayer request? Uh, I, I would I like prayer. Get... Okay. Hi, my name is Ariana. I just wanted to ask God for just protection and um continual healing and deliverance right now. Continue and deliverance. Yes, in healing and deliverance. Oh, in healing and deliverance. Well, in your body? Yes. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, it's again that we come to the throne of mercy and grace. Lord, we pray for your daughter, Ariana, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you surround her with the angels of protection to surround her like a shield right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we, we pray right now that you continue to 
uh, take her body and her mind through healing and deliverance right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Anything that's trying to plague her, to try to destroy her life, Lord, we bind it right now and send it back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus. Stay in the blood of Jesus it's against you. We command you to get out of her body and leave her alone right now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we draw a bloodline around her, surrounding her right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, if she have any com- unconfessed sin in her life, Lord, let her confess it and uh, and ask you and, and you and we because we know that you will forgive her for it right now in the name of Jesus and Lord that she continue as she continue to strengthen her as she continue to move forward in you right now in the name of Jesus so she can walk out the destiny that you have on her life right now in the name of Jesus and Lord we give you the glory give you the honor give you the praise in all things in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen thank you. That everyone. Okay. Filing your consent. Right, so, so I'll go ahead and. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Go, go ahead. Yeah, you know what to do. You can wrap, you can wrap it up. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and pray us out. Yeah. Okay. Precious Father, we come before you tonight to seal everything that was said in this teaching with the blood of Jesus. And, Lord, we seal every prayer that was prayed over your people right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we decree and declare that every every prayer that was prayed, that it shall come to pass right now in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to take this teaching that we learn on tonight to continue to move forward in what you are calling us to do for your glory right now in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to rightly divide the word of truth so we cannot be fooled or misled by what someone is preaching or teaching to us right now in Jesus' name. Your word declares that we are to study your word in our personal time so we will know what is of God and what is not of God when we hear it in Jesus' name. Lord, everyone that have trouble remembering what they have read or studied concerning your word, I decree and declare that they will have a sign mind, and I break off the spirit of forgiveness for this off of their minds right now in the name of Jesus. And I say that they will have a... a a photographic memory, they will be able to remember what they are studying, they remember what they have read right now, so in the name of Jesus, so if you can bring, Holy Spirit can bring it back up in their time of need right now in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that they have a sound mind and the mind of Christ right now in Jesus' name. We break off the effects of some medications that make them forgetful right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that everyone on the sound of my voice will go to sleep tonight and have a have sweet sleep and a restful night without being tormented by the enemy in their dreams. Lord, cover them under the blood of Jesus and let them wake up refreshed to start a brand new day. Right now, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I thank everybody for coming on tonight. Thank you, Father. And I pray someone has gotten something out of the word. Um, like I say, it was it was kind of grieved my spirit when I heard what was said because we just you know we just have to be careful that make sure mm-hmm. we saying what God is saying and not mm-hmm. what we want to say. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I, I pray that everybody have a blessed night, blessed rest of your night, and um, I'll wait. Come back in the morning at six a.m. for tongues of fire. And tomorrow at 12 p.m. for um, Warfare of Strategies. Have a blessed night, everyone. God bless you, Austin. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Thank you, Lord.